Hello and welcome back to Business APAC. Imagine a single dam so powerful that it could light up the entire country of France. This isn't a sci-fi scenario, it's China's ambitious Himalayan mega dam project. Nestled in Tibet, this colossal structure will harness the mighty Yarlung Tsangpo River, aiming to become the world's largest hydroelectric dam. The scale is jaw-dropping, it's set to produce more power than the combined output of the top five US dams. The dam, planned to generate 300 billion kilowatts of electricity annually, will be built by the Power Construction Corporation of China, or Power China, and the Tibet Autonomous Region Government in Medog, Tibet. But what does this mean for India, the environment, and the region's future? Let's dive in and uncover the truths behind this mega project. The Himalayan Mega Dam Project is a colossal undertaking in the heart of the Himalayas. This 60 gigawatt dam, part of China's 14th five-year plan, 2021 to 2025, will produce more than three times the electricity generated by the Three Gorges Dam. This project promises to be a game changer for energy generation, providing a sustainable and renewable power source. Improved water management and irrigation are also on the cards. With better control over the Yarlung Tsangpo River, the dam aims to enhance agricultural productivity and ensure water availability even during dry seasons. Plus, the dam's flood control capabilities could protect millions from the devastating impacts of natural disasters. However, it's not without its challenges. The dam could disrupt fragile ecosystems, threatening rare species and biodiversity in the region. The local communities might face displacement, losing their homes and way of life. Downstream, the altered water flow and sedimentation could impact agriculture and fisheries in India, leading to economic and environmental consequences. India has responded with alarm, considering its own 10 gigawatt dam on the Brahmaputra to mitigate these impacts. Now, let's zoom in on India's side of the story. India's energy needs are skyrocketing as its economy and population grow. With over 1.4 billion people, the electricity demand is enormous, and hydroelectricity is a crucial part of meeting this need. Hydropower provides around 12% of India's total electricity, and the country plans to increase this share to ensure a stable and renewable energy supply. India has its plans for the Himalayan region, including proposals to build several dams along the Brahmaputra River, which flows from Tibet into India. These projects aim to boost energy production and improve water management for agriculture and drinking purposes. However, India is deeply concerned about water security. The Yarlung Sangpo River, known as the Brahmaputra in India, is a lifeline for millions. India fears that China's mega dam could control water flow, affecting downstream agriculture and drinking water availability. China's withholding of information about the dam's design and potential impact has heightened these fears. The potential for reduced water flow or sudden releases could have devastating impacts on Indian communities. The Himalayan mega dam isn't just an engineering marvel, it's a geopolitical flashpoint. For India and China, the dam project represents more than energy, it's about control over vital water resources. With the Yarlung Sangpo River flowing from Tibet into India as the Brahmaputra, any changes upstream could affect millions downstream in India, sparking tensions between the two nuclear-armed neighbors. Nepal, Bhutan, and other Himalayan nations are also crucial players. Nepal and Bhutan rely heavily on river systems for their agriculture and hydropower projects. They worry about the impacts of China's dam on water flow and sedimentation, which could disrupt their ecosystems and economies. These countries find themselves balancing relationships with both India and China, seeking to protect their interests while navigating the power dynamics of the region. The potential for cooperation or competition is a key question. While there's a chance for collaborative water management and shared benefits, historical mistrust and strategic rivalries often push India and China toward competition. Both nations might engage in a dam building race, exacerbating environmental and social challenges in the fragile Himalayan region. Building this dam is no walk in the park. It's about navigating a labyrinth of complex negotiations and agreements. India and China need to sit down and hash out water sharing agreements to ensure equitable distribution and prevent conflicts. This involves intricate diplomacy, balancing national interests, and addressing the concerns of other regional players like Nepal and Bhutan. Environmental and social concerns are paramount. The project threatens fragile ecosystems and could displace thousands of local communities. Additionally, the dam site is in a highly seismically active region of the Himalayas, 
with experts estimating a 50 to 70 percent chance of a magnitude 8.0 or higher earthquake striking the area in the coming decades. Such a powerful quake could cause the dam to collapse, unleashing a devastating flood wave. Furthermore, the region's over 5,000 glacial lakes are at risk of glacial lake outburst floods or GLOFs, which could overwhelm the dam's defenses. Addressing these issues requires stringent environmental impact assessments and robust resettlement plans. Ignoring these concerns could lead to long-term damage that outweighs the benefits. International collaboration and technological advancements offer a ray of hope by leveraging advanced technologies in hydropower and environmental protection and working with global experts, the project can minimize its negative impacts. Collaborative efforts can transform this mega-project from a potential flashpoint into a model of sustainable development. To wrap up, India and China have starkly contrasting views on the Himalayan Mega Dam project. India worries about water security and downstream impacts, while China sees it as a leap toward energy independence and regional connectivity. This project could reshape the geopolitics of South Asia, influencing everything from diplomatic relations to regional development. The dam's potential to revolutionize energy production is undeniable, but at what cost to the environment and local communities? The stakes are high, and the path forward is fraught with challenges and opportunities. Will India and China find a way to collaborate for mutual benefit, or will this project deepen the divide between them? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and also do not forget to share your ideas for our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.